what does an integrated interventional radiology residency consist of? And I guess the going off that, how does it differ from a diagnostic radiology residency? So I think, cause I think people may be wondering kind of what, what the difference is as well. Yeah. So to break it down by um, anatomy, I suppose uh, the, you know, the, it consists of six years of training. Um, the first year is going to be that internship year. Uh, the next three following that are going to be your core diagnostic rotations in diagnostic radiology. And then the last two years are really dedicated to your IR uh, rotations or IR related rotations. And the idea behind the integrated uh, IRS, IR residency is to really um, provide a direct pathway for uh, medical students who know that they want to do interventional radiology uh, and to really dedicate them, the, you know, those six years towards honing their craft to that end. Nice. nice. Um, and I, so I guess like kind of getting into it, what, what are the different training pathways? Cause you hear these terms, you know, integrated IR, ESIR, you know, independent pathway, I guess, could you maybe touch a little bit on the, the differences between those th kind of those three main pathways to becoming an interventional radiologist? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, there's the integrated residency, as I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a one plus three plus two um, sort of situation. Uh, and then there's the uh, ESIR or the early specialization in IR um, pathway, which allows for diagnostic residents, uh, perhaps who were not sure that they wanted to uh, commit to an uh, integrated pathway. Um, these diagnostic residents that then decide that maybe after rotating through a variety of rotations that IR is indeed um, what they want to pursue. They, are, they have the option of uh, completing different milestones within IR. Um, and, and in many cases, uh, I think the SIR states that it's, it's 500 IR uh, related procedures or, and then the completion of 12 IR or IR related rotations. Um, and what this allows for them to do during their um, diagnostic residency is then to, uh, instead of going into a two year independent residency, they can then enter the second year of that independent residency, effectively shortening it by a year. Um, and then functionally, it ends up being uh, from a time perspective as, as long as it would be from an integrated residency. Uh, and so I touched upon the independent residency and that sort of independent uh, residency and that's sort of the, the last um, pathway, which is uh, you complete a standard uh, you know, five-year residency um, with that intern year included, uh, and then you go on to do a two-year uh, quote-unquote fellowship or what they now refer to as uh, independent residency. Um, and the utility of ESIR is that you'd be able to shorten the time uh, you'd be doing that independent residency. Nice, nice. No, I think that's a, a great synopsis. And I think that you know, there's pros and cons, everyone. I think, like you said, you know, the, the integrated IR is for the people who I think like yourself were very sure you wanted to do it. Um, and I think to me, I feel like, tell me if you disagree. I feel like the major advantage of that is you don't have to do a fellowship match or the, re, you know, independent resident match. Like you, you know, you know, you're staying at Emory for your, all, all of your training. You don't have to worry about, you know, doing ERAS and all that stuff again, doing interviews and you kind of, and you won't have to learn a new system, a new program. I guess I feel like that's maybe the, the biggest advantage. I don't know. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I, I think there's definitely some, uh, some sort of, some sense of security, I think, in knowing that I'll be at one institution for all of my training. Um, and I think there, there could be pros or cons to that, um, real or theoretical. Um, I think for me, one of the biggest benefits is that I had family in the South. I knew I wanted to be uh, in Atlanta, in Emory, uh, and that that would provide close access uh, logistically to, you know, support systems. Um, in addition to the type of environment I was looking for, I knew that being at Emory would provide access to certain uh, academic uh, networks, which include the Georgia Tech network or the, the different academic systems in the greater Atlanta area. Um, and given my interest in innovation, which we touched upon, um, it's just, it just makes a lot of sense for me to really hone in on the different things I want to accomplish here during this uh, dedicated, integrated um, six-year program. And so I think for myself, there, there were a lot of benefits to that. And um, I knew I wanted to do this up front. Uh, and so it just made sense to apply to an integrated program 
where all of the all of my interests uh, align. But I think uh, you know, and I we people talk about this uh, you know uh, throughout the process and even now amongst like the different um, co-residents that the ESIR um, track may also offer um, sort of an advantage from experiencing different uh, practice types or institutional differences or really widening your arsenal of um, skill sets or way of doing things by interacting with different attendings. Uh, and, you know, contrary to what people might think, you know, IR or like these different procedures that, or, or surgical therapies that people perform, uh, there, there's a lot of uh, operator uh, differences, a lot of uh, variety in the way people accomplish things and principles that they focus on um, or that are highlighted and I think you can appreciate more, perhaps a, a greater variety if you go somewhere else. But um, all the same, I mean, you could make the argument that you you really hone in on the variety of skill sets you know by staying at one institution all the same and really making them your own. Um, so it really depends on what you're looking for, I think. And and one's not necessarily better than the other. Um, it really is just how you fit into that pathway. Yeah, and I think that's you know the option to go somewhere else in your last years some may think of that as an as a um advantage of the esir track um i think the biggest advantage like you said is it's for you know if, if you're like myself i wasn't sure 100 percent i wanted to commit to an ir program so you know i'm a diagnostic resident technically um but will likely be you know applying for the esir track uh at the end of not this year, but next year, I believe. Um, so, it, you know, it gave me a chance to do a couple of rotations. You know, ironically, I'm on IR right now. Um, that's why we're recording this so late. <laughs> um, and so it was a late day today out there. But um, yeah, you know, it's given me a chance to really experience it as a re- as a as a resident. It's my, you know, I did a rotation during our intern year, as as you did, and then doing it again here as a as a resident radiology resident. You know, it's just further confirm that you know. It's, uh, you know, something I'm very passionate about. And, um, you know, I think, you know, I have the option I can stay at Emory or I can, you know, go somewhere else and, you know, what, how that goes, we'll see, you know, we'll see where the chips fall in a few years. I I don't have any preference one way or the other right now. Um, but I guess it's nice to know I have that option. I don't have maybe the level of security you do, but, um, but definitely, I think you make a good point too, you know, just like how in different surgical practices or surgical programs, you know, for example, in like, you know, general surgery, there's some programs that are, you know, very high volume transplant, like here at Emory, you know, it's a very high volume transplant center. So the general surgery residents here get a lot of exposure to that, but, you know, uh, you know, they may not get as much exposure to something else. Um, so, you know, and it's the same thing in IR, like here we do, because of being a transplant center, we do a lot of, you know, tips and, and uh, hepatic work. Um, but you know, you could go somewhere else where, you know, certain places do a lot more oncology or more, you know, peripheral vascular disease, uh, things like that. So like you said, that's kind of maybe the advantage. I think the, the two year pathways, maybe the one that's like the least desirable, the one where you have to, cause it's just seven years, it's a year longer. It's, I guess it's not, it's not the end of the world if you have to do that, but I guess if there's one path out of the way, that's the least desirable, I guess maybe that's the, the least desirable of the three pathways. Yeah, I think it just kind of depends on like when you come to deciding to do IR mm-hmm. and where you are in having prepared for that. And that may just look different depending on, you know, your personal paths of interest or the, the residency program that you're a part of maybe doesn't offer ESIR. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's it may be a necessity, but certainly I think there's an appeal in uh, the former pathways in that it, it, it allows for you know, shortening an already long or lengthy career path, um, which is most of medicine, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any more that anything you want to do that specializes super long. <laughs> <laughs>